Hey guys, it's Monday morning. Can do a weekly vlog, but I'm gonna have to do it on my phone because I don't find the camera again. Don't know where it is. So those of you who I'm friends of will know that over the weekend, Friday, we got uh, a kitten and we've called him Zed, little black kitten he is. I'll show you him later. He's absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, so I've done work. Also, uh, my car has broken down. I haven't got a car at the moment. My dad hasn't got a car at the moment because his is broken down. With him, it's, he thinks his gasket's gone. And mine, it's the starter motor. Um, it is booked in for the garage, but they can't actually fit in until Friday of this week. So, I got no car. Which is annoying. But it's okay. Um, I've been borrowing Jess's dad's car over the weekend, which was lovely of them. And um, we walked Jennifer to nursery and Jess said she'd uh, drive me down to get Jen in tomorrow lunchtime so uh, it's not a problem if I have to walk I have to walk a day but it's not too bad so um um yeah so I'll show you the kitten a bit later I've just kind of started to do a few bits and pieces before tea um just trying to think well that's about it but I'll see you in a bit and I'll uh, show you the kitten Jennifer to bed and here he is having a sleep on the sofa little Zed the adorable, he's so tiny. Just for scale, this is the remote control for our TiVo box. It's very tiny. <laughs> it's so cute though. Just having a little little doze, bless him. Morning, Zed. Morning, everybody. Here he is. He's having a little play. As you can see, there's some colouring books on the floor and a cushion. And he's sort of jumping around it. Some Jennifer's toys. I need to pick them up in a bit. So it's uh, like 6.40. I'm going to get Jennifer up in a minute because we've got to walk to the nursery today. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, so we've got to walk to the nursery today. So I'm going to get Jen up in a minute. Hello, sweetheart. You coming up? As you can see, you can hear the little kitty. Here he is. Hello. Say hello. Say hello to everybody. Yes, I know. So this is Zed. Things I set myself up for. Kids of the cat. Okay, right. I'm going to go and get dressed and get Jennifer and Paul up. We'll get on with the day. I'll see you after I finish work, I expect. I end up in work like this for how long? 20 minutes? Mm. 20 minutes with a cat on his back. What are you doing up there like that, eh? Eh? Poor Paul. I'm going to rescue Paul now and take the cow off of him. <laughs> uh, Sienna's got no school, i got no work, so it's girls' night in the tub. Good girl, you drink it up. You like water. Put it on the corner there. So we'll, we have a couple of glasses, or 12. <laughs> Me too, don't worry about it. Oh. Jen, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> all right? You all right? all right? Now she's got the ring, she'll be okay. See that on the ring. <laughs> now you can float. Do you know how to float in yeah, there? Good girl. Oh, God, oh. Oh, oh, dear me. What's she like? Oh. Dark. We're still partying, me and Jess. Oh, God, oh, we God, did God. invite Paul to come over. We think he might be. <laughs> it's very dark, you can't really see us, but hey, who cares? The kids are inside playing on there, I'm in. And we're, in. Yeah, he's going to be here in five minutes, so yeah, we're just having a couple of gins, a bit of fun, woohoo! <laughs> so we're back home now, and Jennifer and Paul in bed, which is good. I'm just sitting on the sofa and listening to some music. Listen to some Barnum and some Samantha Fox. Sitting here with Jed. Jed? Zed? I can't even speak. I'm, I've had a few too many drinks, I think. He's here, look. He is. He's beautiful. And as usual, after a few drinks, I'm feeling a bit down. A bit... What the waste of my life's been. And what is the point? He's the point. Jennifer's the point. But that's it. For me, there's no point. If it weren't for them. I probably won't keep going, but that's just me. 
She's my life. I love my baby. She's so beautiful. We had a good time. It was good fun. Um, I'm just tired and a bit tipsy. Come on then. I'm going to bed now. Have a sleep. And tomorrow she's going off trampolining with uh, Jess and her daughter because Jess is kid. Sienna is off school. It's an inset day. <sighs> Bless them. I don't blame her. Why not? Eh? Be nice. Nice to be that age. I'm, I'm off to bed. I feel better in the morning because I've had too many to drink. Too, too much to drink. But hey, Jennifer's safe and that's all I care about. So. Oops. I'll see you in the morning. Bye, guys. It's uh, Wednesday morning and I'm, uh, I feel fine, even though I was a bit drunk last night. Obviously, I'm not at work because my day, I've got a day off today. I've got today's holiday. I'm actually using it to uh, give the kitchen a good deep clean when I get started on it. Time to put the washing on the line. It's taken me a bit of time because either the cat or Jennifer wants attention. Jennifer's off today. She was supposed to go out, but uh, the person who was taking her out has got flu, so her, her, her and her daughter's devastated. But she'll get a Mackie for lunch and then she'll be back in school and nursery tomorrow. Not happening again. It's too upsetting for her and it doesn't happen. But it's okay. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this clean. I'm going to have a shower and then I, I might. Uh, Come out here and do a bit of colouring this afternoon and get Jen out to play because it's a beautiful day. So I'm not loafing, even though I look like I might be. I just want my drink out because I'm thirsty. And uh, there's a little bit left of the washing to go on the line, not much. And then it's on with the kitchen clean. I need to cook the cooker as well. So I'm going to crack on and I'll see you in a bit. So we've had lunch. I've tidied the kitchen, it just needs cleaning. And I'm frankly knackered, so I'm going to have a shower. I'll finish it off tomorrow afternoon after work. We have nice McDonald's, as you can see. Zed is trying to sleep on the sofa, and Jennifer's got two fruit shoots in her hand. How are you, Jen? Um, yum, yum, yum. One's at the top. You alright? Say hello. Mm. Oh, she's tucking the cat again, poor bugger. Careful, Jen, you nearly hit me in the face. Come on, be careful. So, yeah, I'm going to go and jump in the shower if I can. Look at that little sweetheart. Look how tired he is. Look. Yeah, so we'll let him sleep. Hey, guys, it is evening. Jennifer's asleep. She went to bed quite early. She said she was really tired. Oh, I'm glad I'm on my hair coloured on the weekend. Yay. Um, yeah, she was really tired, so she went to bed pretty early and she went straight out. She's a good girl. Paul's in bed. I'm in the spare room colouring because I'm not that tired. I am tired. I'm not as tired. I'm getting there though. But I want to do a bit of colouring. Um, also catching up on a bit of colour tube or YouTube uh, colouring videos because I tend to binge watch them rather than watch them all as they come out. And I shall watch it for about an hour before I hit the hay. Cats sleep downstairs. Everybody's happy at the moment so <laughs> my dad started my car state now if you don't know the whole ongoing saga with the car is that it's not been starting properly it's been taking sometimes it starts straight away and another time it'll uh, take two or three attempts now last wednesday i went to, ha to the doctors had my flu jab and my blood pressure taken all that stuff and i went back out to the car would not start at all excuse the spot on my hand it's, it's not one of those spots from doctor who i'm gonna die it's just ink and it's green, it's not black. Uh, <laughs> sorry, a bit of a nerd coming out there. And yeah, it's a wooden start. So we called the RAC out. He said it's the starter motor's knackered. So, oh, right. Managed to get it back to my mum and dad's. Left it there because their street is flat. Obviously, I live on a hill. Um, so it's easier to tow. Also, not so many cars. Phone up the, the garage the next day because it's gone six one time I get home. Oh, what a day that was horrible. And phone him up the next day. Yeah, can't fix you in until the 24th, which is this Friday, which is fine. Um, so we've been walking Jen to nursery, borrowed a car from next door, and so on. Dad goes to the, out today, puts the key in, turns it on, turns, turns the key, starts straight away. So I still go get it checked out um, on Friday, and we'll see what happens. But there's something not right. It needs needs looking at. And if it needs a new start motor, it might be that the start motor is on the way out. You know, that's fine. It's got to be done. I need my car. 
because at the moment we can't get any shopping. Dad can't go shopping because his car's knackered. At least I can go and get my hair cut because I walked to the hairdressers. <laughs> it looks green. It's not, trust me. It looks green to me, but then it's grey. It won't be grey on Saturday afternoon. And you will see it, of course. Um, I'll find a book to take. And yeah, I've got a thin one up there. I might take that up and read that one. I'm trying to work through some of my physical books now rather than um, Kindle books. Because I've got so many physical books on top of the cupboards. Well, on top of my bookcases. And I need to get rid of them so that I can put my diaries up and my colouring folders rather than have them on the bottom shelf. Which will then free up the last shelf, the bottom shelf, for more colouring books. That's the plan. Anyway, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to watch Danny Buttons now and I will see you tomorrow morning. It's Thursday. We are slowly getting towards the end of the week. Hooray! Unless I get my car back, I can't do anything on the weekend. Oh, I'm on my haircut, so that's fine. I'll see you later. Bye! It hey, is hi, uh, Thursday you. afternoon. I have now finished Ooh, work. Just put my laptop away. Well, it's on the floor. It goes on the floor. Um, so that I've cleared my desk so I can do some filming tonight. Because I haven't filmed for ages again and I want to film another colouring chart. I'm trying to get tentacle enchantments fil filled finished or nearly finished so that the next one I do will be a uh, whip it um, whipping the whips video where I just finish off uh, what I can on certain things and have a chat to you about life and uh, the universe and everything yeah whatever's going on lots of lots going on in the community at the moment with um, people and, and book halls and not liking book halls and halls and like him because I love him. Um, might have a chat about that. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, so I ain't gonna I ain't get offended. Um, but yeah, so it was all go. So I've got to go and get Jennifer. We might go to the park. It really depends on how she feels. If she's really tired, we'll just come home. Uh, we'll see what Zed's up to. Hopefully, he's not sitting on Paul's back today. He was on the sofa when I went downstairs. He wanted in a, a cuddle. So I'm gonna go down now so I can give him a quick cuddle before I go out to get Jen. So I'll take you with me and we'll see what happens. Ta -da -da -ta. We're in the park now. Turn round and look down on the floor. There's one there. And Jennifer is collecting conkers. They're falling off the tree and nearly hitting me. We've got quite a pile. Go and see, go see if you can find some more. I can see loads. Just this, there's some there, look, right in front of you. Just there. This one? Yeah, well done. So we've had something to eat from. Greg's and now we are collecting conkers. Nice more. day, it's a bit cloudy. Yeah, there's loads around. Just gotta have a look on the floor for them, okay? Where? Well, all around, anywhere around this tree. See, I can see them. So there's one just there, look. Where I'm pointing. Yeah. Yeah, put it on your pile. Look how many we've got. We've got loads. Just go and have a wander, see what you can find. They're all over the place, Jen. Trust me, there's one there. Behind you, almost. Ah, Sam, you got him. There's one there as well. Turn around. Look at the ground. Look down towards me. There. Where my finger's pointing. Just feel it. You, you practically stood on it then. Turn around and look on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> you funny kid. Uh, Hang on. Put them in your pile. Put them in the pile. You're looking for conkers, aren't you, Jen? There's more. Have you found loads? Uh, there's more. You want to find more? Go on then. Look how many we found. It's keeping it busy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I love her. Whew, till one hits me on the head. She's a good girl. I think she found one. You found one. Come and show me. Show the camera. And hold it out. Oh, well done. Brilliant. Put it in a pile. Go on, see if you find any more. I think we found them all now, so we're going to count them, aren't we, Jen? So, what have you got in your hands? How many? One. Two. Three. I don't think you can hold many more than three, can you? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. 
nine, ten in that pile. We'll put them in piles of ten, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten, that's twenty. Let's put them in a pile. That's twenty. Wow, we got loads, haven't we? I reckon we've probably got about fifty or sixty. What do you reckon? Can't bother to count them all though. Do you think? Do you think we might find some more another day? No. Can you count? No. Oh, there'd be more. They, there's still probably some up in the trees. They've stopped falling at the moment because the breeze isn't so bad, Jen. So, wow, loads of them. Do you want to take any home? Do you want to take some home to show Daddy? Do you want to take some to nursery tomorrow to show them? Show okay. Kerry and Lauren. You want to take them all? Yeah. Well, there's rather a lot to carry home. Okay. Back home now. Let's put all the conkers ah! in a basket, and of course you tip them out, and they're running. Every, they're rolling everywhere. <laughs> Look at them all. Pause, please. He says he loves conkers. There's another one. There we are. I like these ones that are flat on the bottom. I think they look really nice. Oops. See what else? Some of them look really nice patterns, like that one. They're rolling everywhere, aren't they? Where you gone? There's another one! I know! Soon. Finished work and we're in the park. Jennifer's on the slide, which is why I can't see her. You can see her in a minute. Well, I can just about see her, actually. Um, Cars in the garage, waiting to hear what's happening with that. <laughs> she wanted a sausage roll, so we came in. It's a bit hot yet, so it's letting it cool down while she plays for a bit. And we'll go home. See Zed the cat, we'll see what he's up to. He was uh, sitting on the sofa waiting for me all morning to finish work, and then I gave him a quick cuddle before I came out to get her. So I want to get home and spend some time with him as well. And it might rain, it's a bit grey, but yeah, as you can see. Um, I used my £50 voucher that I had from work today. Um, ordered myself some more pro markers from Amazon. What's up, darling? Do you want a sweet pea? Yeah, she's on a big swing now. Yeah, but his, his grandparents are with her, so she's safe. It's all right. Don't worry. So one of our neighbours with her, their grandkid. Oh, yeah, you can go on one of those if you hold on. Anyway, all right, you can go on them tomorrow. Oh, I don't know where she is, sweetie. She's at school, isn't she? Quick update because we're listening to the new Mannix album. Got my car back, it's all fixed. Is my baby. Where the baby's in bed, but is my little kitty cat. It's all good, I'm happy, and I'm just relaxing in the tear tomorrow. So I'm going to my hair turn, see what it's like. Woohoo! I'm upstairs now, I'm shattered. Walking up nearly three miles every day from nothing is, is hard work. But the car is home. Ooh. Tomorrow I'm having my grey hairs coloured so it look all different. I can't wait, I love having my hair coloured. I have my hair done. I don't know I'm showing you my ear, that's just bizarre. Um, I'm going to have a look at TikTok and uh, they've got some videos on how to make TikTok videos. Uh, so that I can make um, some good ones. I want to do one featuring this camera. This is an Enzyme Full View camera. And it's a box camera. It's just a really weird shape. And it's got a, a, a very big viewing lens. And so you, you look through, down through there. I think that's, yeah, down through there. And then it mirrors it through there. And that takes obviously takes pictures. There are no shutters on here. You've literally got two set in. There's no shutter speeds at all. You have got time, and you have got so that's however long you hold it down, it'll be for there's a shutter, and you have got instant. So literally, it takes a picture. Obviously, there's no double exposure stopper, so you can take as many exposures as you want. Now, as you can see, there's a little hole in the back. There would have been a little flap there that would have folded over there to keep the light out so um 
obviously that goes all the way through so that'd be no good but I will put some electrical black tape over that and then some over that and then I'll just uh, move it when it's time to roll the film on this isn't what I'm going to be selling although it did come in an auction lot for selling uh, this one you wouldn't get much for anyway I, I just like the design it needs a bit of a clean up I just I think it's so cute I want to keep this one so I'm going to give it a good clean um, I might even do some of that tonight and then I'm going to try and shoot it so I've got that I'm not doing any colour inside I'm, I said I, I want to do some filming I really want to film um, a colour chat I'm just so exhausted so I'm hoping that tomorrow or Sunday I feel a bit more alive and I will do it it's just been such a long week with having to walk to get her and Okay, yes, I borrowed a car one day and and that, but it's, it's still a lot of walking when you're not used to it. And I'm not. I need to do more and I know that. And then hopefully I will. I found my watch, which is my uh, Fitbit. So I'm actually going to charge it up tonight and, and try and put that on tomorrow and see how many steps I do. I've got a book to read tomorrow at the hairdressers. I'm going to be reading this very thin one. It's called Marilyn and Me by Jimin Lin. Um, another... A name for it is Starlet and the Spy. Um, yeah, so it's about, so obviously, the uh, Korean will be in over Marilyn. Takes the stage to entertain about scarred soldiers. Seems like a dream. Starlet singing amongst the rubble. But Alice, Marilyn's translator, knows the waking reality of life in wartime. Once she was Kim Mason before the war stole her name, Anna Happiness before she worked only to survive and forget. The two women find unexpected solace in one another's company. But when she's recruited by the Americans to assist in the entrapment of a communist spy, Alice, along with the secret she has been keeping, finds herself unwillingly pushed into taking centre stage. So, I think it'll be quite interesting. <laughs> So yeah, be, be interesting to read. So and it won't take long. It's just a thin one. I then do have this horrific biography. Well, not biography. It's about her death called Bombshell. As you can see, it's gathering dust. It's been there that long. I've only three pounds in the works. But uh, yeah, it's did Bobby kill Marilyn? No, he did not. It's all rubbish made up by somebody who was trying to get famous. Obviously. So my plan is I want to clear the books on top of the bookcases so I can put my diaries up there and my colouring PDF folders. So in order to do that I need to be able to move some books from there down to the, the bedside table. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books on there plus those two so that's eleven. And I want to try and clear them. One of them is Doing Time by Jodie Taylor. I still haven't read it. I've listened to half of it on Audible. Maybe I'll take that instead because it's a thicker book. I don't know. I'll decide in the morning. Anyway, I'm off to bed. I'm really, really tired. <sighs> I'm going to watch some TikTok videos so that I can make some, make them a bit better. Because I really don't know what I'm doing. So I've just been putting half our stuff up and I want to make them look a bit better. So I'm going to do that. As you can see all my colouring books behind me. And some of my reading books, my Jack the Ripper collection up there. There's a thing missing out there, but it does say it's on there. Jade some books top shelf and on the top. Yes, I am a collector, but I do like. I had some Marion clippings away arrived today. I haven't sorted out the last lot properly, so that's a job and a half. And all, um, all the things are in here that I need to do them though, so I might do that next week. I might show you it. Fortunately, the clip-ins that came today are pretty much all from this year. Yeah. Anyway, I'm off to bed. I'm really tired. You might be able to hear some music that says Paul is listening to albums. He's got new Paul McCartney, McCartney 3, which he got ages ago and hasn't listened to. And the new Manics album, which came out recently. So. Both good. Yeah, I lie down because of my back aches. My legs are stiff. And I'll get some sleep. Jennifer's sound asleep. I've been rattling rolling about absolutely nothing so this is the cover for to do in time now these this was available in, in paperback but uh, all the chronicles of St Mary's come out in paperback so I've got it in paperback to decide and then there's a Marilyn and a Pratchett book up there what's underneath that there's another big book there and that is oh that's the Backman book so I've just got to finish reading that I've just got the running man to go and I've read that if you want my Stephen King shelf which is downstairs in the living room it's hard being a bookworm. There's just too many books to read. You know, 
I'll never read all the books I want to. I'll never read all the books I've got. And oh my god, that time that library of Alexandria burned down. I mean, seriously, what was that about? <laughs> I've rattled enough. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Morning, guys. It is Saturday. Excuse the shakiness. I am sorting out the washing. As you can see, I'm going to go and put it away in a minute. Then I'm going to get ready and have my hair cut. Yeah, well coloured and trimmed, looking forward to that, it's going to be nice. We'll go shopping after that to do the food because we got 10 pounds of our shop today but it, it, the voucher expires today, so it's got to be done today so we get it. And then tomorrow means we don't have to do anything, I don't have to go anywhere, it's great. I can colour, I can play with Zed and Jen which is always fun, maybe take it to the park if it's nice. Paul's going to do that when I'm having my hair cut just so that they're not stuck in the house all day. And Paul's going out tonight so me and Jen will have a couple of hours on our own which will be nice. Just watching a couple of YouTube videos about the drama that's going on in the community. I will be doing a colour and chat tonight finally. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be tonight and I'll be addressing that in that video. Um, you'll have seen that by the time you see this so let me know what you thought. I'm, I'm quite like vlogging on my phone but I don't want to do it too much. I would like to find my camera and reuse that because it is a better camera. Also because I'm doing TikTok I want to do the TikTok videos on my phone and if I'm doing ones where I need to save the clips and then edit it together later and then upload it because you can just got to figure out how to put it all together and find a good editor. I will, especially for my um, photography ones, you know, most of them are photography. It would be easier if I've got it uh, set up, you know, I can show a camera, load the film, take some, show me taking the photographs and then develop them, put some photos at the end. Um, i just got to figure out a way of doing that on an editor. Now I could do it on my normal editor that I use for my YouTube videos, but that's too big. So I want one that's on my phone. I've got to go and look for one later. I'm gonna crack on with this and I will see you um, a bit later on. Bye guys. Hi, uh, so I've had my hair done. It's evening now, Paul's just gone out, well a bit. And me and Jen are sitting at the desk Paul uses when he's working. And I'm printing out my Ava Brown okay. coloring books because they released okay. two today. Uh, one I already had in my box and a new one, which is um, Halloween. Uh, ha uh, Secret Village Halloween. So I'm just printing those up. And we're also printing up lots of colouring pages. This is her mummy pig, which Jennifer just coloured. Are you going to show your dinosaur? Okay. Yeah, let's just show you a dinosaur. This is her dinosaur. Mm. Oh, are you all right? Did you get? Oh, did you cap yourself with the paper? Are you all right? Let's have a look. All right. And this is her pepper. Well done. She's using my nice paper as well because I don't mind. I've got plenty of it. I've got another ream. I've got 250 sheets. Um, yeah, tons. And I've got. Mommy, I won't make it Let me have a look. I'll just go have a look at her, her face. That won't be a sack. You see, but I've got a little cat. <laughs> yeah. Sitting on me. Looking at Jen. They love each other, don't you? You love it. Look, he wants to make sure you're alright now. Yeah, she's just hurt her face. She caught a paper in the by her eye. Hey, you want to cuddle the cat? You gonna be careful with him? All right then. There you are. All right. Well, how are you gonna cuddle him? He keeps catching his claws on everything. I'll be back in a sec. You gonna say hello? Who's there, Zed? I put him back on your lap then, so he's comfortable. Oh yeah, so I'm printing. I've got um, instant ink, so we've got all felt pens here, and we're just having a nice little colour before bed, aren't we? See, look, he's really happy sitting there. But if he wants to get down, you let him down. But he's all right. He's having a sniff now. That's it. Good boy, Zed. He's gorgeous, isn't he? Just put Zed in his bed. He's never slept in it, but. We always put it on the sofa and put him in it to see what he thinks. You can see his little head. Hey, look at your dirty face, you little street urchin, you. <laughs> Don't get too close, he might scratch you. Isn't he cute in there? He is, I smell that. He's lovely, isn't he? He smells nice. He smells? Mm hmm. Guys, it's Sunday night and I'm about to, well, I'm upstairs in the bedroom. I'm going to do some colouring. I still haven't done any filming. I'm still recovering from all the walking. I can't find the remote for my fire, my fire stick. It's here somewhere. 
had it Friday, haven't had it since. Don't know where it is. It's probably fallen somewhere and it'll turn up eventually, so I'll have a look for it uh, in a bit when I've dried my hair. Just going to sign off for the, the week. I didn't do no vlogging today. It's Sunday evening. Just a normal Sunday. Went shopping, saw mum and dad, Paul's mum came round. Paul and Jen played football, played with a cat. Nothing too exciting, but it's been a good week. Got my car back, got booked in for its MOT now. Joy. I haven't been here done, which I always love, cost a bloody fortune, but hey, never mind. So I'm going to sign off, get this one edited, and I will be filming Colour and Chat tomorrow night. And I will see you when we do it all again next week. So have a lovely week. See you soon. Bye.